super busy week leading up to my final presentation on Monday or tomorrow. If you guys don't know, I'm currently finishing my fourth year at Interior Design School and here I just post videos about design and fabrication. So today I thought I would talk about photography in relation to design. Now this came up because this past week I've been finishing up some of my renders for my assignment and I realized that I was referencing a lot of what I was doing it from photography and use those skills into my rendering. And over the past year or so I was just practicing and playing around with uh, using flash photography and controlling my light sources and, and this really helped me when I had to place some of my lights around my model. So doing these renders I had a better idea of how I wanted to light up my subject or space. Something like this. Then it got me thinking. How many more aspects of photography do I utilize in throughout my designs? Guidelines like the rule of thirds or distinguishing foreground and background or just the use of leading lines can really help change how you see your designs. I think all of these aspects are shared amongst both design and photography and it focuses on function, style, and aesthetic. I found photography as a form of documenting really intriguing because it makes me think about all of the different aspects of my process work, as well as my finished projects. I can use photography to show others how I work and how I see my work through start to finish, and I really think it's a difference between making your work good versus making your work great. Now I'm saying this so definitively that I think designers should adopt at least some level of photography because I think it's so beneficial to have an understanding of space, perspective, and lighting. What I find so amazing about photography is how the person who took the photo is able to communicate and tell a story through that photo to the viewer in just one photograph. I'm not even talking about just interior design, but I think this applies to stuff like graphics or online content or even industrial and product design because you have to know specifically how lighting works around your, your product and how that affects your material finish. I, I think having the knowledge between design and photography will help you become a better designer and you'll be able to see things in the gaps between these two skills that other people might not. That's all there is for this week. I hope you guys found it interesting or helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you guys left me a thumbs up down below. Or if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, I would also love to hear you guys. Just leave a comment in the comment section. All right, I'm gonna go back to finishing this whole mess of 3D prints and complete my assignment. I'll see you guys next week, bye.